Are you guys doing? Yeah. Always good seeing you guys. Sometimes. <laughs> How would you uh, describe how things are going in the off-season program? Going smooth. You know how it is. Working hard. Now we're going to put the work in. Uh, communicate with guys. Get to uh, see new faces. You know, uh, some of the same guys from last year, too. You know, a uh, couple guys, you know, not here. McCarty, you know, it's a, it's a big loss for us. Uh, but next guy up. Next guy I got to step up. Do you, do you see someone sort of stepping into what Devin? That's a big question. <laughs> uh, he's going to handle that. Uh, a lot of experience in football, but you know, uh, I just whoever it is, you know, I don't don't try to be Devin. You know, be yourself. You know, everybody is different in uh, some form or fashion. You know, just go out there and do you and make plays. But uh, you know, Devin's going to be a big loss because he was a, also he was also a great leader. So he's going to be a big loss. It's a big day, obviously, for the leader in the schedule. Yeah. As long as you've been in the league, is it yeah. still the day you look forward to? I don't even. I, I really don't even look at it like that. Uh, more people like family hit you up. Like, oh, y'all play this team first, this team second. But you know, it's it's you know like it's next team up mentality. Uh, it's going to be exciting to see. You know, we play in Germany this year, so that's going to be exciting traveling. Uh, I've never been to Germany, so that's going to be exciting traveling over there. But you know, uh, whoever they put in front of us, you know, we still have to play them. So I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of that uh, next team up mentality. But I'm I'm very excited to see you know who's on the schedule. Have you played in international? London, first year with the Dolphins. Played the Saints. That's my only time I went internationally with the football team. So. It's going to be interesting in year seven going to Germany and uh, looking forward to playing our opponent. What do you think you learned about traveling that far and going across the <laughs> time, though? Got to make sure you stay up with the time. You know, uh, I'll say for the younger guys, make sure you get your rest on the plane because once you get over there, you're going to be on the totally, what, maybe nine hours ahead, a totally different uh, time zone. So I would say definitely get your rest and, uh, of course, set your alarm clocks and stuff like that. But it's going to be an adjustment, but I think we should go out there a couple of days early to get adjusted to it. And by the time we get game time to play the Colts, I think that's our opponent. I think, you know, guys will be caught up with schedule. Obviously, Devin's gone, but you guys brought back pretty much everybody else yeah. from the defense last year. What was your reaction back in March when you see that all of these guys are resigning and sticking around? Uh, it's, a, it's, a good, it's a good groove. I mean, we finished, I think, sixth in total defense last year. I think we could have improved a lot better, you know, could have easily been up. You know, always want to aim for top three, you know, top five, top three. Uh, but you know, we could have easily been up there. And made made a lot of some 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 key mistakes. But you know, seeing a lot of guys back, it lets me know that we on we we are on the same page. And a lot of guys have their same lingo, you know, in the building on the defense, particularly. So you know, that's going to be good. That's going to be key. But it all starts when things like offseason program, guys building uh, bonds. You know, most of the guys are here. So I mean, that's that's always good. Seeing, seeing faces in the locker room. Third year here. What are you hoping to build upon? It comes to yourself. Get better every year. Uh, just uh, taking my game to the next level. Uh, being here in the off-season program, I think that's a huge step. Uh, working out with the guys, you know, building those, you know, communication and those walkthroughs and stuff like that. So, I think it's just, you know, just having the guy next to me to trust me. You know that I'm gonna do my job and he's gonna do his job, and that's how you get better. Regarding your, your interests outside of football and fashion, and foundation, <laughs> what have you? Uh, uh, I got a new kid, new kid on the way. So uh, yeah, October fourth is the due date. So that's that's very exciting for me. Uh, just you know, just along just being a dad. Uh, got a newborn on the way. I mean, I haven't really been crazy traveling. Well, I have been. Uh, <laughs> I went to Maldives. That was pretty cool. But just just kind of sp spending time with loved ones and just you know just kind of uh, back in here with the guys. That's always good. Robert Kraft announced today that Tom Brady is going to be honored um, at the home opener. Yeah, that's going to be big. A yeah. lot of people are looking forward to that. I bet that's probably sold out already. <laughs> yeah, we, don't, we don't even know who the home opener is, and it's probably sold out because Tom coming back. But that's going to be big, you know, uh, arguably the greatest quarterback ever. Uh, so when he when, when he can come come back to, to where it all started from, I know all the fans are excited about that. You know, he's done a lot for this program. Won six six Super Bowls, him and Coach Belichick, and along with everybody else who who, who participated in those Super Bowls. But you know, it's it's, it's going to be exciting to have him. You, we definitely got to get a we we, we want to get a win every game, but that game we definitely got to get a win. You know, Legend coming back, so we, we definitely got to show up. Devon, do you get excited by a, having a tougher schedule and seeing opponents like the, hmm. you know the two finalists in the hmm. Super Bowl are coming? Other really good teams you're going to have to play against. Hmm. Defensively, do you get a little more stoked for for those opponents? Very, very excited because you get the match your competition up against those guys. Like you said, the two finalists in the Super Bowl, 
Uh, you know, of course, one team got to win, one team got to lose. But, you know, it's very exciting to get to play those guys. You to get to task up to your competition to see how you are as a player. I know for me, like, I get very excited seeing, like, oh, we got that team on the schedule. They say this team is good. They say this offensive line is good. So I'm always excited to play in tough competition. And, you know, with Bill, you know, we always up to the task. We, that's, that's why we practice hard. That's why we work hard in the offseason to, to, to play game, to play in games like that. Speaking of tough competition, obviously Aaron Rodgers is now mm-hmm. in the division. What are your thoughts about having a future Hall of Famer? Yeah, he's definitely a future Hall of Famer. Uh, it's exciting, you know. Uh, competition brings out the best in everybody. So, the, you know, Jets, the Jets is a better team because they got Aaron Rodgers. You know, nobody's going to sit up here and say the Jets are not a better team because they picked up A-Rod. You know, I mean, he's a, like you said, he's a Hall of Famer. You know, his uh, his resume speaks for itself. So it's going to be very exciting to see them twice a year. You know, can't wait. But, you know, nobody's going to win a Super Bowl today. You know, nobody. We just build towards it, you know, by working out, by, you know, uh, putting us putting the small steps in as in walkthroughs, as an install. So, Nobody's going to win a Super Bowl today, but, you know, you can work towards it. Well, with Aaron going to the Jets now, I mean, everyone's talking about the Jets, mm-hmm. the Bills, even the Dolphins. Not many people are talking about the Patriots. Vegas isn't talking about the Patriots. You don't worry about the outsiders. You know, everybody always got opinions, you know, and that's what every, everybody has an opinion. You guys, I do, everybody has an opinion, but, you know, that's their opinion. You know, we uh, pretty sure there's a lot of teams that was not picked to, to, you know, nobody had, I don't think nobody had Phil, I don't know if some people had Philly going to Super Bowl this year. You know, Jalen Hurts had a, a career season and, and he got paid well deserved. So, uh, you know, we don't really worry about what outside people got to say. Everybody got an opinion. We just got to stay, stay the task, keep working, and move forward. Speaking again of Brady, um, you think back to the last time he was here mm-hmm. and that game, that stage, the environment. It's very emotional for a lot of people, yeah. What, what stands out to you about the way your quarterback handled that night? Oh, he handled it well that game, too, because uh, it was all about. The hype was about, you know, Tom, which <coughs> respectfully so, all he done in the league, all he done for this program. But I think Mac handled it well that game against Tampa Bay. He handled it well. Had a great game. Actually, we had a chance to win it at the end. So, uh, you know, he handled it well, and I'm sure he's going to handle it well this season, too. You know, he's, he's, you know, he's hungry. He's ready. You know, I'm, I'm going to let Mac speak for, speak for himself, but, you know, I'm pretty sure he's ready to go out there and ball out this season. Call for NFL schedule makers give you, like, the October 4th bye week. Like, is that what we're looking for? Like, I always look for the body because I, I try to like you know match it up with like taking care of my body. You know, I, we I, I do a lot of PT work, a lot of massages every week, but I always try to look for the body because I know that's the week. Like I know you know a certain amount of days we're gonna get off. I need to schedule those days. I need to make time for family too. So I always look for for those days, especially when the schedule comes out. They know like okay. So I know this year in Germany, my birthday is November 11th. We'll be in Germany, so I'll be celebrating my birthday in Germany. You know, you know, getting the win. So uh, but you know you you always look for it for the body week for me. For particularly to take care of my body. Yeah, for sure. October fourth, so it'll be a month a month later. So <laughs> thank you guys as always. Appreciate it.